So the first thing to do, having opened the file, using the object outliner is shift left click on each of the cubes which are going to be moved. There's no point selecting the central cube because it's not going to be animated. From there we press I on the keyboard and insert a keyframe, location and rotation. Notice that we are already on frame 1. Now set the end of the animation to run up to 90 frames, move to 90, frame number 90, and now what we need to do is position each of the cubes. So one at a time, pressing the G key for grab, y-axis y restriction, and then 5 units is too far, press escape. So G, Y, 4 units. G, Z, 2 units. And repeat this, taking a note of the axis. So in the case of the green cube, we're looking at the X axis. So that'll be grab X, minus 4. And this time grab Z, 4. Now for the other two, let's do this using quad view and using the control key, clicking and dragging inside the uh, white circle with the control key held down to give uh, discrete jumps in position. So far more intuitive, but you have to remember to alter the position in uh, two of the perspective views or the orthoscopic views. Using the transform manipulator there. So we should be finished other than selecting each of the cubes which is to be animated using shift right click and then insert keyframe location and rotation and that's it. So remember the basic sequence which is to first move to the frame that you want to be on, then position your object, then select your object and insert the keyframe.